Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your ancestor reading for this year. So this is a timeless reading. It's not for any specific time period. I do it now for obvious reasons, um, but it's good for any time, whenever you find it, okay? Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. What we do is pull some cards here to find out which ancestor it is that wants to communicate with, with you, what they have to say. Um, so it can be an ancestor that you knew in this life, or it can be somebody that you never knew that's just, you know, in your family line, or it can be past life. It can even be ancestors from, uh, you know, like off planet, <laughs> right? I know it sounds weird, but you know what I mean. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Thank you guys for being here. I love all you guys. All right, here we go. Who is it, Scorpio? Oh, okay. Wow, you guys, every single card out here is a major arcana so far. This is so crazy, Scorpio. I mean, typical for you, it is your season and all, but oh my goodness. Hopefully I can fit these all on the screen. I'll make sure you see them all though, either way. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so this person here that wants to connect with you, um, they are somebody who um, was kind of like a chaotic energy, can be a Gemini, doesn't have to be, can be like a past partner, either from this life or another one, um, but it's somebody who in their, their daily life, like they really did things to kind of change the world. And it, it didn't always seem pleasant for other people. Like, do you see this card right here? This is a lover's, it's Gemini. So like I said, it can be a Gemini, um, but it can be somebody that you were in a relationship with. Again, either this life or another one. Um, but you might have lost them in like a pretty like drastic kind of way, like unexpected, like something it wasn't anything that anybody could prepare for. It was, you know, really out of the blue, like an accident or something. All right, let's get another one on that. If you are somebody that is a twin, it could be a twin that you lost. Again, either in this life or another one. The Six of Pentacles. This person was really charitable, really giving. Um, they probably had money, donated a lot of it, or took care of people in their life financially. All right, what does this person want to say to you? We have the hanged man, we have the moon, and the magician. So we've got back-to-back -back Pisces here as well. Magician again with Gemini. So we've got double Gemini, double Pisces here. Um, but this person, they really want you to get in touch with your spiritual side. They want you to manifest. They want you to do magic if you are that kind of person. It is Samhain. It is that day. So... If you're somebody who's not into that or offended by it, sorry about it. It is what it is. Okay, so with the hanged man, this is also the energy of Odin. If that means anything to you, if that means anything in your history. Um, but so with having the hanged man, it's about self-sacrifice. It's about spiritual enlightenment. It's about looking at your life from a different perspective. Um and with the moon here, there are things here that you haven't yet uncovered about yourself. And it's spiritual, like hardcore spiritual magician. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you've got some serious 
spiritual powers here. I mean, you're a Scorpio. That's kind of, it kind of comes with it, right? Um, but it's, it's not yet known to you. There's still some hidden, hidden things here. <laughs> Let's see. What is it? What is this moon? Um, they could also be trying to give you a message about a Pisces. Let's see. What's up with this moon? The Empress, another major, Libra Taurus, Divine Feminine. So with having the Empress and the Moon here, this is definitely feminine energy. Doesn't mean that this person has to be a feminine, but what they're trying to say to you has something to do with like your feminine, your feminine side, your spiritual, magical side. Um, and also with the Empress here, there could be like, and the Moon, there could be like a hidden pregnancy either you or somebody around you. Um, it's like, all right, so you have a lot of fertility here, a lot of abundance potential, but you might not know it. And the five of swords, so there's some conflict here. Conflict surrounding a feminine, um, maybe even like a mother figure. See, what's this five of swords? The moon reversed. Yeah, more Pisces. So you could definitely be in some kind of a conflict with a Pisces. Uh, or the conflict will resolve when what is hidden from you comes to light or what you're hiding from the world, what, you know, whatever kind of, how do I want to say it? Like your blockage to abundance, to fertility, whatever it is, is because you're not revealing your whole self here. You're not being your whole self and it, it might not even be conscious. It's like, you have these gifts that you don't know about or that you're not expressing. All right, so the way that this conflict, whether it's external or internal, is gonna get resolved is, is by bringing everything to the light. Now you have the magician as well. This is all about being, you know, master manifester, creating your own destiny. What is this magician all about? Six of Pentacles again. You've got that up here in their energy and you've got it here with their messages to you as well. But this is about equal give and take. It's about balance. Make sure that you're not over giving because it seems to me like they might have been an over giver. Um, so they want you to make sure that whatever connections are in your life, they're equal, they're balanced. Um, this is also about manifesting money. It's manifesting yourself into a place where you have the means to give to other people, to help other people. And the Knight of Wands, all right? This is about going forward towards your passion. Whatever that is, whatever you're passionate about, it's going forward, you know, just moving, doing it, doing the thing that you're passionate about, all right? Um, why are they here? We have the seven of wands because for some reason right now you feel like you need protection. You need protection. You feel like you have to be on guard or like you need guarded. All right. They're here for protection to defend you, whether it's, you know, in whatever, whatever area <laughs> they're here for your protection because for whatever reason right now, you're in like fight mode. Let's see, what is the Seven of Wands?
the high priestess reversed yet again high priestess reversed you're not listening to your intuition and you're being a little cut off spiritually for whatever reason doesn't even have to be intentional um but they're trying to kind of like break through that your walls you know they're trying to get through to you and you're not really listening um again i don't think that it's intentional you know what i mean um, so pay attention to things like your dreams, like signs, synchronicities, flashing lights, you know, all that shit. Pay attention to that because there's something here that you're not hearing because you've kind of got yourself blocked off. Their direct message here is the four of cups. This is about contemplation. This is about not taking any action. It's about just waiting um, again, with the hanged man, it's a lot of waiting. It's kind of like you just have to try to see whatever situation this is regarding from a different angle, angle and not really take any action just yet. What's this Four of Cups all about? The King of Wands. It could have something to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this is about kind of like you have this period here where you're in conflict either external or internal over something that you should be doing right um eventually you should do the thing but right now it's kind of just trying to get your balance back um realizing like what your blockages are here and again i think it's spiritual gifts that you haven't yet uncovered or haven't like let be seen um once you do that once you get past that period of kind of just trying to put yourself in a place to gain some spiritual enlightenment, connect with your ancestors, your guides, whatever, then it's like you have, then it's like go. Like, okay, now I know. Now it's time to take action. Go after your passions. Like, really, up your confidence. Um, focus on whatever it is that you do to get your confidence up so that you can go after what it is that you're passionate about in life. This is also business owner energy. So if you are considering opening uh, your own business or whatever, yeah, there's some shit going on right now that make it not the exact right time, but soon it will be. All right. Oh, all right. What should you take from this? The Seven of Cups. This is about lack of clarity. This is about needing to gain your clarity back. And this is also about, you've got a lot of possibilities in your life, a lot of things that you could be doing here, a lot of things that you're good at. Um, so it's like you have all these ideas, it's just needing to bring them down to the physical plane. And the Queen of Wands, yep. Look at this, you've got the queen, the king, and the knight of wands here. This is all about doing, it's about actual action. So here's the thing, you, you're in this period of not doing right now, right? As you should be, that's what they're saying. However, it's not gonna be like that for very long. You have all these ideas, what you wanna do is bring action to the ideas so that they're not just ideas in your head. With having the magician up here with the six of pentacles and knight of wands, and the seven of cups down here. This is, you have all these ideas in your head, all these different things that you could do with your life, you know, career wise. It could even be like where you wanna live, anything at all. You've got all these possibilities in your head, but they're just in your head. They're not really doing anything right now because you're kind of in this holding place. Um, but as soon as you get out of that, then it's time to be proactive and aggressive and bring these things down here um so that you can do what you're supposed to be doing with your life right all right i am gonna pull you an oracle as well i wasn't going to but you know whatever i feel like it so let's do it we have for Scorpio. What do your ancestors have to say to you, Scorpio? What is up?
You have the eagle. See from a higher perspective. Are you kidding me? That's what I've been saying here with the hanged man. That's all about looking at a situation from a, a different perspective, looking at it in a different way because there's some spiritual element here that you might not see if you're just looking at it from the physical plane, you know? All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. You guys take care. Have an awesome birthday season.